All right, guys. <clears throat> so this is for my true fans, my true fans that watch my videos, you know, religiously, if you know, if you will, for the true fans of the of this movie. Um, the review I did for the actual for the actual reaction, you know, I just kind of went through some of the technical aspects, talked about the story, um, <clears throat> the sound design, the animation, the rewatchability. This one in this review, I'm going to be talking about this um, from a personal point of view, a more subjective point of view more than anything else. I was going to do a comparison between this and your name but i decided not to i decided to do a video basically talking about the 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 lessons that you can learn from watching this movie and the reason why i say this is a better movie than your name so i'll give you that reason at the end but i'm going to talk about a lot of the stuff that they touched on during this movie <clears throat> from a subjective point of view and um, just letting you know what I enjoyed about the movie the most and <clears throat> what I learned from the movie and uh, what I think the author was trying to portray through this story. Okay, so let's jump into it. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about, we'll talk about the friendship aspect because I touched, I touched on that a little bit at the, on the, re the, the reaction review, right? So... Um, I'm, I want to talk about the friendship aspect of it at the end. So let's talk about one of the things I, I want to get out of the way. A lot of people is going to watch this movie and think it's about suicide. And I can, to I can totally understand why people would think that this movie is about suicide. Um, you know, um, and how, you know, things that can lead up to suicide. People out here are killing themselves you know, because of, you guys know my my stance. I've said it multiple time on this channel during reactions, out of reactions. I've said it multiple times that I think um, suicide is a coward's way out. And the reason why I say that is not to say that people who are victims of suicide are are terrible people. <laughs> you know, a lot of people, you know, people has come at me before and be like, how can you say that about suicide victims and da 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 da, -da. Listen, guys, um, they are people, um, they are people, I don't want to say this the wrong way. And the reason why I don't, I believe it is a very selfish act. The reason why I believe it is a selfish act is because you are not thinking straight. It is a selfish act. Whether you're cognizant of the, of your selfishness or not, it is a selfish act, right? And the reason why I say that is because you're not thinking about how this will affect everybody else. You're just thinking of how this, whatever is going on with you is affecting you, right? And I'm not saying that you that are going through the situation does not matter. Now, a lot of times, you know, when you talk to people, I, I've, listen, I've, I've been through so much in my personal life and I know that not everybody has the mental fortitude to get through everything. You get what I'm saying? I know that for a fact, right? Um, and sometimes you do get those thoughts. I have had those thoughts. I've been to, I've been places in my life where I have thought of taking my own life. You know, I never attempted it, but the thoughts were there right so i've been very low places in my life and i know not everybody has a mental fortitude to kind of push through those thoughts and to not act upon it now the reason why i say the person cannot they don't have to be cognizant of the fact that hey you got a family hey you know what i'm saying and all this other stuff there's a lot of factors that go into somebody making the decision to do that it could be that you know they're trying to to escape something or um you know there, there's so many different reasons but on the other side of things of when you when they're making that decision to go through with this it's our duty 
as people who have the better mental fortitude to continuously reach out to people and that's the reason why i say when it comes on to you know when you have like um blacks talking about oh we need to support more black businesses and blah 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 blah, blah and all of this sort of stuff suppose the business i've always said to them since suppose it's a shitty business should i support it anyways you get what I'm saying? So, like, you, you get what I'm trying to say? Like, should I continue to support something that's shitty just because of the person's skill color? It, it just doesn't make sense to me. It's, 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 uh, it's like, oh, Jews support Jews. White support, support whites. So black should support white. No, you're just, you can't solve segregation with segregation. It just doesn't work. You get what I'm saying? Um, and for some reason, black people think that's the answer, and it is, it is not. And as I've continued to say multiple times on this channel and on different videos and to, to different people, the answer to this problem, I don't, I don't mean to sound like a hippie or a tree hugger, but the answer to the world's problem is love. I hate to sound so cliche or whatever you want to call me but it is as simple it is as simple as love it might not be simple to do but that is the simple answer but we tend to shy away from that and you know and say oh people will never change or this and that and you know all the other things that we want to say you know what i mean um to find an excuse as to not love everyone you know what I'm saying? Um, so for me, it's up to us. And that's why we should reach out to people more. You know what I'm saying? I think that that's more the moral of the story here is um, issue of reaching back out to this person that he know. You know what I'm saying? Even him himself, after attempting suicide, became this introvert of a person that he couldn't even, you know, look at people's faces he's always looking down you know what i'm saying and then when there's such an inkling of light shining through you know what i'm saying he would sometimes kind of offish a little bit still but he would still end up given that opportunity that's how he got his day one and that was just pretty that was just really cool to me see i think there would be a lot less people killing themselves especially in a place like japan where the suicide rate is ridiculous right by just reaching out to people you get what i'm saying um oh i didn't even know throughout the entire time that i was watching the movie i didn't know that shoko wanted to kill herself like and and that's what i'm trying to say you know she finally found someone she even told him, I love you. She misunderstood him. That was another shot. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, and then you had this bitchy person that just kept every time making, every time this girl made strides into feeling like she mattered again, even though she has this disability that she's trying to work through. You just have this annoying little crazy person just keeps telling you i hate 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 you i mean you know people like that is <laughs> i don't want to say should kill themselves but you know it's just to, it's to that point where you don't want to see any redemption for that person because it's, it's just like I, I do understand why certain people feel a certain way towards certain people <laughs> you know what i'm saying because you have people like that in this world that go through these things and they want they they, they want to feel love again and she finally found that and then somebody comes along to make it feel like no it's not valid he's just hanging out with you for fun he doesn't really want to be around you you know what i'm saying um because she just see it as an impossibility that somebody who you used to bully as a child that you could end up being friends with later. Like, you know what I mean? And then she turns around and blames herself for this entire thing. I didn't even think that when she left Ishida there after the festival and the fireworks and stuff like that, she was going home to jump off her balcony. Like, that was like... And that's why I said that's the brilliance in the show and uh, as in what I'm saying, like um there wasn't a lot of things to learn from your name as much as 
you would learn from this movie a silent voice you know what i'm saying so it was it, it was just to me it was a it was just a lot more heartfelt and you could draw a lot more parallels from this movie it was well constructed it was long enough it was good enough it was everything about it. so yes yeah, so as i said a lot of people is gonna is gonna watch this movie and look at the suicide aspect of it and i and i i wanted to talk about that aspect of it because it would be very valid if you think this movie is about suicide it's not entirely about suicide because i like to look at things from a pause from a positive point of view um for everything so the first thing i'm going to think and the first thing i'm going to take from this is the positive side of it which is friendship now i want to expound upon that a little bit more than what i talked about in the reaction review um i'm gonna post this video separately anyways um because i didn't want to make that too long just in case i'm just making this for the people on the channel who wants to hear me talk about things that are just more than just the technical aspect of what I just watched so um so yeah i just felt like i didn't say enough really in the review and i was just trying to keep it as condensed as possible towards the technical aspects of what i noticed during the movie and stuff like that and talk a little bit about the story but here i am talking about the story in its in you know what i'm saying of how i felt and what i took from it um and i think the two main concepts in this in this that they tackled in this movie was suicide and friendship and the reason why i count them as separate things is because suicide is a serious issue um and as i said before you know where, where i was talking about i don't want anybody to think that i'm blaming victims of suicide or anything like that when i say what i say i think it is a very selfish act and 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 it, it just is when you actually think about it you know so um when when i talk about friendship and this is always something that when i talk about it most people they don't understand they don't comprehend they don't they don't follow me very quickly because when i talk about friendship it's like i'm talking about a foreign long language to people because they don't quite grasp the concept of how i describe friendship and what it should be and i give i i i i shout out to um to kishimoto the the creator of naruto because he really expound upon what it's like to be a friend would most of us in that situation in naruto's situation um you know and in sasuke's position have a friend in sasuke's position would we forgive that person and just chase after them just because we know they've lost their way we understand why they're doing what they're doing and forgive them nonetheless and just be like i'm just trying to save my friend don't you understand how many of us would go that far for a friend you know what i'm saying and to teach me um and, and you're talking to someone who grew up in the grew up in the church of them telling you jesus is your friend you know what i'm saying i'm not saying jesus is not my friend i'm just saying um what's there to tell me that jesus is my friend where's the where's the evidence you know what i'm saying so uh, those are the questions i used to ask where is the evidence there's, there's no you know there's th there's just this, these stories and it's just like as i said i am not saying for those of you who are christians out there i'm not saying that jesus is not my friend it's just that i needed the proof and i got the proof i know the proof you know what i'm saying it, it, you know it's not just about you telling someone that you love them you gotta show them that you love them you know what i'm saying so there was there was a little bit of weirdness there because somebody is just telling you that somebody else loves you but they're not showing you why this person loves you or how or why does he love me so much is it just because you know is it just because god created me like there's got to be more to it than that and that's why i always encourage people to get to know god for yourself if 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 so should it be but i know i'm just saying i don't want to preach here so when it comes on to um when it comes on to being a friend when it became very tangible to me i never had 
a true true friend until i was my late 20s my late 20s and i never understood what friendship was until i watched naruto like true true friendship i'm talking about true true friendship where you know what i'm saying like uh, yeah there are going to be people that come and go in your life that you know you've met you have great chemistry um you know male or female you know what I'm saying? You have a great chemistry with them. And, you know, you, you, you fall out of that. People move on. People don't try to reach out anymore. And for me, I've always tried to reach back out to my friend, but they never really, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, there's a couple of people, but after a while, like for me, it's just like if, if things develop a little bit differently, then, <clears throat> then I back off you get what i'm saying but i never really it's when you know you consider those people friends but then when i watched naruto and and kind of understood you know kind of tangibly how far you should really go for a friend I, I i question it and i'm like you know i'll pick them out of a crowd and i'll be like would i go this far for this person and and, and then the answer always came back probably not you know what i'm saying so i was like are they truly my friend and and you know what i'm saying it is just like is this somebody that i can call at any given time and 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 you know unload you know what i'm saying and it's not just about that and that's why i said that friendship is so undefinable to the point where you know you can be, as i said i can name you know a, a, a hundreds and hundreds of reasons why me and somebody is a friend you know and it still wouldn't help you to understand what true friendship is or what the word being a friend not the definition of a friend but being a friend the action of being a friend what does it encompass what does it include what you, you get what i'm trying to say so um and to me you know, as I, you know, speak highly of Naruto and how they portrayed it, you know, um, I spoke about it a lot in the review too, where I was talking about, you know, the, the difference between how Japan um, portrays friendship, which is a preference of mine, to how um, America portrays friendship. And I'm not saying that there's no media out there that does it good in America, but Japan consistently does it you get what i'm trying to say and it's very surprising that people who write this much about friendship their country suffers so much from suicides and it, and, and that too when you look at it it's kind of like a, it, it's so ironic because i think friendship can save a lot of people from suicide you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like putting those two things up against each other which i think that was the main theme of this movie you know you know just kind of pulls it back to this to, to this movie a lot when it comes on to that because japan is one of is one of those countries that i think they have the highest suicide rate in the world you know what i'm saying and it, this is an issue you know what i'm saying um there are suicide lines um please guys if any of you that watches my video have thoughts of committing suicide man reach out for help and i'm putting myself out there my discord is down in the description get on the discord talk to me i will help you as much as i can i'm no therapist you get what i'm saying if i see a situation that i can't handle or i can't help you with hey you know what i'm saying i i will try to you know what i'm saying to get you to to the right people or whatever the situation is and, and that's just the type of person that i am you know what i'm saying we might not be best of friends but we could be but I don't know you guys personally. So I'm putting myself out there. So just to let you know that if you need help with anything, I'm gonna I'm here. The Discord is down. The best way to reach out to me. Get on there, send me a private message, and we could talk. We could schedule times and we could talk. You get what I'm saying? If you need help in any area of your life, you need help, you need encouragement. Whatever the situation is, whatever you are depressed about, you want to just unload on someone and you just want to talk for, you know, an hour or two or whatever the situation is just to someone that would listen. 
I can be that open ear for you guys. So I'm sending that that message out to you guys so you guys know that if there's any one of you guys that are suffering from this and you need help, I'm here. I'm here. I'm putting myself out there like this. Um, we can make something happen. You know what I'm saying? If you want to know, you know, how to reach out to the right people or whatever the situation is, um, we can do that together. So I just, I really wanted to make this video, um, you know, just talking about friendship and, and that side of it, because I think those are the two main points that this movie was really trying to, um, to portray though, those two things, you know what I'm saying? Um, you, you see how it should have kind of revert back into a shell because he, he felt like he lost everything. You know what I'm saying? He felt like he lost everything, lost all of his friends, you know, um, and, and it's really not his fault. That was the thing, too, where it, it really wasn't his fault. You know what I'm saying? As I said, it's it's a very it's a it's it's a thing with boys and girls where we, we really don't know how to act. You know what I'm saying? Um, and when we um, when we like a girl, we don't want to tell them we'd rather you know hit them and run away or i don't know what it is but it, it's just a natural instinct i i you know we call it bullying but i didn't want to put that label on it until um he did something specifically where it just it it, it just i i don't think it should have gone that far you know what i'm saying the the throwing the throwing out the book throwing out the the um the the the, the earring aids it just it rubbed me the wrong way you know what i'm saying i think i think he liked her but he didn't really know how to respond to you know what i'm saying because he you know what i'm saying i don't know why it's like you know a lot of times you know we have this mentality of kill him with kindness and i think that's I think that's what was confusing to him and the same thing happened to old girl you know what i'm saying the the, the bitchy one it's the same thing that happened to her it's like it's it's killer with kindness because she didn't know how to act when she sees like everybody expects shoko to be um this just this angry person because she has this disability they want her to get angry. They're trying to get her to respond, to, to, to have some sort of response. It's like if you don't act ugly, you know what I'm saying? If you don't act ugly, you can't be friends with us. It's like you guys, they, 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 they took her so much for granted. You know what I mean? Like they took her so much for granted. And it's just like from the minute she walked in the class, everybody was looking at her funny. And I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? And, and don't get me wrong. A lot of times when people have disabilities, they don't want to be treated like an outsider. They want to be treated just as normal as anybody else, which you should. You know what I'm saying? You should. You shouldn't treat them any differently. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? They they, they probably didn't like the fact that they had to spend a couple of minutes learning sign, sign language. Um, you know, and if we would just reach out more. You know what I'm saying? Instead of being, but they, but the thing about it is that you also got to understand and take into account that they were kids. They didn't know any better. Most kids are going to react like that if they're not taught how to behave and to do things the right way and to look at that because you're going to consider that person weird. If a kid shows up in a wheelchair at school and you're a child, you're not going to look at that person and, and, and just immediately think, oh, poor them. Or whatever the situation and empathize you know, I should say empathize they're not gonna immediately empathize because they're kids that don't know how they don't understand you get what I'm saying they're not they're not you know they're gonna ask the question you know why are you in a chair you can't walk why can't you walk what happened now the person who has the disability is not gonna necessarily they, they might be they might tell you what happened you know what I'm saying they might say I was born like this some people has um, you know um ms and people are born you know born with that disease you know and it, it happens you know and, and you know because i've been around people with disabilities man i've 
you know, it, it's not for me. It's just like I empathize so much to the point where I'll I'll just <laughs> just start crying for no reason because I'm just like, why? Why was this person dealt such a bad hand? <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like it, it's just a very tough situation. Um, but to end this off on a on a on a positive note um friendship i think you know as people we should reach out to others more i know it's it's a detriment you know what i'm saying it's not easy you know to reach out to people and i'm glad that shoko made the effort to be friends with um whatever her name is i, I can never remember her name but because I didn't make any effort to learn her name. I'm going to be honest. Because I just didn't. I, I didn't want to remember her. She was a bitch the entire movie. <laughs> Even when she was a child. She was an instigator. And because she liked Ishida. You know what I'm saying. From she was a child. She liked them. You know what I mean. Trying to, to close her out. You know what I mean. And as I said. This, this movie was not about was not about any kind of rom romance even though they could have easily went in that direction and it would have still been a great movie but i'm i'm happy they did not do that and they just stayed on course especially the fact that they're just coming out of high school too um they both probably just turned 18 so that was cool um you know issue of saving her was you know what i'm saying that that scene made my heart come all the way up here i was like bruh if you don't get up and save this girl i'm gonna be real mad at you you know what i'm saying he, you know what i mean this man took time to take bruh somebody is about to jump off a balcony and you're taking time to take your shoes off before you go try to catch them i mean come on man you know what i'm saying and they did that on they did <laughs> they did that on purpose to create the tension in the scene um you know him falling over you know what i mean like they did that on purpose and i know they did that on purpose but in any case um friendship 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 man and then i i, I tell you guys all the time that if if i could you know what i'm saying have you all as my friends you know I, that would be awesome you know what i'm saying because i see you know people who i interact with on like you know what i'm saying outside of just in the comment section and stuff like that these guys are just you know what i'm saying that i consider like guts you know what i'm saying every time i talk to him we have great awesome conversations you know what i mean so you never know i might you know fly out to canada one day <laughs> you know what i'm saying and go 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 meet up with guts and you know to have a drink or two you know what i mean um so that 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 would be awesome um there's other people that i communicate with over on the discord man so if you guys want to reach out to me on the discord man i would really um i appreciate it and i'm i'm, I'm i promise i'm a good dude <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much man this movie was awesome i had to make a second video just to go a little bit more in depth into what this movie was about and what i drew from it and you know um and some of the parallel stuff in you know that happens in real life that we could really look at this movie and be like i learned something and i think that's the biggest reason as i come to my closing now um i think that is the biggest reason why i believe that this movie is just a better movie it just is it means more it says a lot more you know what i'm saying um your name is it's romance you know what i'm saying it's a romantic comedy if you will um you know what i'm saying i love those movies too and as i said it's a it's a 10 out of 10 but it's not the kind of 10 out of 10 like a silent voice is it's just not it's just a silent voice is in my opinion just a greater movie it just is it's just a better movie i think it means more i think it says a lot more it touches a lot more subjects um 
you know um it's just a better story in my opinion it was told a lot better in my opinion and that and as i said before it's not to say that your name did not do a good job and it was a bad story because it was a great story y'all saw my reaction to that movie and my review of it like i was oogling over that movie but then here comes a silent voice and that's what i'm saying it's like for me it's a silent voice then your name on my top five anime movies of all time y'all not touching ghost in the shell ghost in the shell naruto they don't go on my list because they just means a little bit more to me than anything else i will be doing a ghost in the shell um the first movie i'm i am going to be doing that reaction soon enough i bought the dvd and everything i will be doing a reaction to it it's been years since i've watched that ghost in the shell movie so i probably don't even remember that movie pretty much but it's my favorite anime movie of all time but that's just me just oogling over that stuff but in any case guys thank you guys so much for tuning in i'm gonna catch you guys later man and as always leave a like leave a comment see boy terabyte reacts and i'm out peace